In the Palestinian town where Jesus Christ was born some 2,000 years ago, it's been decided that this year, Christmas cannot be about spreading cheer. The war in Gaza, only some 45 miles away, has devastated Palestinians of all faiths. We are praying for the peace. Father Rami is one of the church leaders that elected to nearly cancel Christmas. Gone are the traditional lights, carolers and trees, what he calls external celebrations. It's a sign of respect and solidarity with who lost his, his family uh, who live uh, in the uh, stay in the war, who don't have something to eat still. We cannot celeb make celebrations, external celebration. In the streets of this biblical city, it is clear this is a Christmas like no other. News channels showing destruction in the other Palestinian territory now play non-stop in cafes on the town square. The city is empty of its traditionally festive spirit. Normally, there is a 40-foot Christmas tree here and lots and lots of lights. Visitors come to Bethlehem from around the world to see the biblical site where Jesus Christ was born. But this year, there is no tree and there are no tourists either. Some 150,000 Christian pilgrims usually make the trip to Bethlehem. But since October 7th, that number has fallen to near zero. The city is grappling with losing one of its most valued sources of annual income, but feels it's more important to show solidarity with Gaza. The situation is so complicated, and the businessmen are worried about this situation. And for us, it is more important than businesses, the life of people. We are witnessing killing of people every day, every single moment. We are seeing that our people are killed by the Israeli uh, occupation. Uh, for us, it is economically very difficult, but, but the most important for us is the life of our people. But that doesn't make the financial impact on business owners any easier. Aboud has only had three customers in his shop since this war began. It's our season for business, it's a Christmas. Because a lot of people from all over the world, they come here and they come for visiting. And comparing to now, it's zero, personally. Because as I told you, I like to be honest, since 7 October until now, I have only three customers and there was only journalists. Back at the Church of the Nativity, Father Rami prays that the war in Gaza will end soon and encourages the faithful all around the world to do the same. In Bethlehem, in the occupied West Bank, I'm Ryan Thompson for Newsnet.